Shalom, glad to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just wanted to talk about, you know, how we came. You know, we came here in slave ships, but we're going to be delivered in spaceships. You know, we came here in very uncomfortable conditions um, on these packed uh, slave ships. You know, they had us. You know, chained up, stacked up on top of one, in, one another, next to one another, very awful, unsanitary conditions, you know, urinating on each other, defecating on each other, you know, vomiting on each other. You see these in those various, you know, slave movies, like Roots, you know, all that, where they depict, you know, these conditions. And you know, we came to America <clears throat> in that way. Came here to serve slavery, you know, 1619, roughly around that time, all the way up to today. But when we get delivered, you know, we're going to be delivered in a very, you know, majestic, angelic, you know, spiritual way. You know, the elect that is, the elect is going to get beamed up in what you would call UFOs. You know, the chariots of the Most High, you know, the chariots of fire, you know. You know, these ships that the, the angels, you know, get around in. <clears throat> and it's going to be, you know, scary. But once the elect is in those ships, you know, they're going to be at peace. You know, cause they're going to be in safety. They're going to be in comfort. You know, Most High is going to deliver us. In a very spectacular way, or he's going to deliver his elect in a very spectacular way. Now, the 144,000 and the one third who are going to be Israelites, you know, delivered out of America, delivered from the destruction of America, from these ICBM nuclear missiles that are going to be shot off on America. First scripture is uh, Deuteronomy 28:68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no one shall buy you. Yeah, be brought into Egypt again, you know, the place of bondage, which is America, with ships. These uh, cargo slave ships, as depicted in this uh, picture right here, and that's exactly what happened. We came to America on ships as bondmen, bondwomen, slaves, and nobody saved us. You know, we had to go through that slavery. We had to deal with it. Even after slavery, we had to deal with the Jim Crow up until today. You know, now we're, we're dealing with the poverty. We're dealing with the subject of payments. And we know we have to serve these other nations, but the elect, you know, the one third, they're going to get delivered out of that, out of this destruction, out of America. He said, "I'll bring thee again into Egypt." So obviously, he's not talking about the the first Egyptian captivity, but this second Egyptian captivity, this bondage, you know, known as America. How, so we came in with ships, slave ships, but we're going to go out in these, uh, these chariots. And Ezekiel described, you know, a chariot. Um, Ezekiel 1.16, the appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of barrel. And they had four, and they four had one likeness. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Yeah, those are so called uh, flying saucers, you know, a wheel within a wheel. Depicted like that, you know, the chariot of the Most High. You know, when they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. As for the rings, 
they were so high that they were dreadful. The rings were full of eyes round about them four. Yeah, the rings, the eyes, you know, talking about the lights. The eyes of it. The lights and the windows, the chariots. Like you see in this picture right here. Wheel within the wheel and the eyes, you know. The chariot of the most high. That's how the angels get around, you know. They're linked to these chariots of spiritual. So when you read the story of uh, Elisha and Elijah, you know, Elijah was taken up into one of these chariots. He was beamed up. Uh, this is uh, 2 Kings 2 and 9. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I should do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven so Elijah was beamed up in that chariot of fire you know in chariots of the most high you know he was beamed up and taken into heaven and Elisha saw it and cried my father my father the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof and he saw him no more and he took hold of his clothes and rent them in two pieces so yeah Elijah was beamed up in a chariot and taken into the you know, fourth dimension you know, to, to the spirit world and you know Yahushai when he went up on the cross and died and arose when he left he left in the same way you know, Yahushai was beamed up Acts 1 and 6 when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying Lord what will wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel yeah because he thought you know Yahweh was going to bring the kingdom at that time but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the time yet and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all in Judea and Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken, spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Yes, yeah, so what was that cloud? You know, chariot. Well, chariots are referred to many different things. So clouds, you know, a star. Chariot of the Most High, Chariot of Fire, but it all refers to these uh, so-called UFOs, these vehicles that the angels can, are controlling. It said you know, Yahweh was taken up into a cloud; he was beamed up. So you know Elijah was beamed up, <clears throat> and Yahweh was beamed up. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Yahweh which is taken up from you into heaven shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven yeah so when Yahweh Shai is coming back he's coming back in a chariot you know he's coming back with a whole army a whole host of heaven you know, in chariots. The same, he, the same way he left, the same way he's coming back. So Elijah was beamed up. You know, Yahweh Shai was beamed up. <clears throat> so how's the elect going to get out of here? You know, they're going to get beamed up as well. <clears throat> this is Revelation 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. It's talking about America. All the nations, you know, 
got rich off America, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth of the earth were waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Yeah, all these nations got rich off America, so they're gonna cry. You know, they're gonna be very upset and they're gonna howl for the destruction of America. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not take partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yeah, right before the missiles hit. You know, the elect is gonna get beamed up in these ships, you know. The whole host of heaven, you know. So we came in slave ships. You know, and we're gonna leave the elect. It's gonna leave in these spaceships, man. Be a beautiful sight if you're part of the elect. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High, Most High, hath remembered her iniquities. So yeah, right before America is destroyed, you know the elect is going to get beamed up in these ships, man. Last scripture is uh, Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it, as if it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Yeah, it's, you know, until, until America is completely destroyed. You know, the elect is going to be in those ships, you know, protected. He said, enter into like chambers. You look that word chambers up. The Hebrew word there is uh, Khadar. Khadar. It means uh, chamber, room, parlor, innermost, inner part within. Key word there being parlor. You know, if you look that word parlor up in the uh, Merriam Webster dictionary, it's uh, a room used primarily for conversation. Or the reception of guests, such as a room in a, a private dwelling for the entertainment of guests. Yeah, I mean, those chariots is going to be a private dwelling. You know, not everybody's going to get up in those chariots, only the elect and the one third. You know, a private dwelling for the guests, you know. You know, the wedding guests, <laughs> you know, those wedding guests, man. A conference chamber or private reception room. <clears throat> a fostered or advocated in comfortable seclusion without consequent action or application to affairs. Yeah, point being, in comfort, seclusion, comfortable, comfortable seclusion. You know, not like when we first came to America, these conditions weren't comfortable at all. It was deplorable, unsanitary conditions. <clears throat> but the Most High is going to work a work. You know, he's going to beam up his elect. <clears throat> and they're going to be in comfortable seclusion. You know, a private dwelling for the entertainment of guests. So it says, Come, my people, enter into thy chambers, shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as if it were for a little moment till the indignation be overpassed. So the elect is going to be safe you know, in those chariots until the indignation, until all that nuclear destruction is done. You know? So, yeah, I mean, we came in slave ships, but we're leaving in spaceships, man. For the elect. Lord willing. With that, Shalom.